Hi folks, Don Stimson here, Kansas Meteorite Museum and Nature Center. Uh, we're going to go dig a hole out the field and hopefully find a red meteorite at the bottom of it. Uh, today's dig is in honor of uh, Frank and Eliza Kimberly. The Kimberly settled out here in the late 1800s, uh, started a family, uh, and uh, discovered the uh, bread of meteorites. The Kimberleys moved to Kansas in 1885 and set up a household. Not much out here, no electricity, and water came from the local creeks. The rock for the foundation came from Kinsley. Frank was a farmer and started busting sod, and Eliza, a homemaker and discoverer of the Brenham meteorites. Discovery of the meteorites and sale came at a very opportune time. While many farmers in the area were struggling, the Kimberleys thrived. The 1890 paper in Science by Coons mentioned moon meteorite, hence the uh, tongue-in-cheek Eliza's moon rocks. Over the years, we've had many visits from Kimberly relatives, uh, great-great-grandkids uh, of, uh, of Frank and Eliza. They've always been very friendly and generous with us, and we thank them for it. There's not a lot left from the uh, old Kimberly homestead, but uh, we do find a few artifacts every once in a while while we're looking for meteorites. The Kimberly family is going strong. It's not uncommon for us to have visitors uh, to the museum that are descendants from Frank and Eliza Kimberly. Because of uh, Eliza Kimberly's recognition of the material, there's a uh, piece of Brenham meteorite in every major collection uh, throughout the world. So uh, we're going to go dig, uh, dig this thing up, and uh, we're also hoping to have some of the Kimberly relatives out there, some great, great, and great, great, great grandkids of uh, Frank and Eliza. So, Eliza, this uh, this moon rock's for you. Okay, this is uh, this is the pro Beth Schoenberger. <laughs>
129 years and still going strong. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, next day, uh, 4 2014. Wind's blowing like crazy, so I had to overdub this segment. Um, checking the depth of the uh, meteorite uh, meter stick, and uh, we're at about 95 centimeters or, uh, or about three feet deep. And uh, check the hole with the metal detector, no more fragments, so uh, I'm ready to, to fill in the hole. Okay, and uh, here's uh, here's what came out of the hole. It wasn't uh, it wasn't very big. I thought it was going to be larger than this. Uh, it uh, was fragmented. We got uh, this chunk, uh, this chunk, this chunk, and uh, this one just came off of my hand there. So looks like we're uh, oh, at about uh, uh, 2.9 uh, 2.99 kilograms. Uh, so uh, pretty impressive. The uh, uh, Pulse Star 2 was able to uh, detect uh, this object at about uh, uh, 95 centimeters. So uh, it's uh, that's doing pretty well by my standards. Okay, that wraps up this dig. Uh, thanks to uh, Amy Bickle and uh, Sandra, photographer from the Hutchinson uh, newspaper, and uh, Ballard family, descendants of uh, the Kimberleys. Uh, we had uh, great, 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 great uh, grandkids of Frank and Eliza Kimberly out here. Um, that's it for now, and we'll dig up another one.